uh, welcome you for this third edition of this Tech for Trust. Also, uh, the opportunity to thank the Trust Valley and uh, the team, Lenny Ganis and her team, because as you can see, this program has evolved very quickly and very nicely. Uh, very proud to see so many sponsors and thank to all of them as we uh, definitely need this uh, program in our region, not only for our region, for the whole Switzerland and also uh, to develop, I would say, solution for the entire world. So why is it important to keep on developing and supporting this uh, acceleration program? Uh, for those who haven't been involved so far, I would like to invite you because I think that there is many reasons. On one side, there is a big, I would say, marketplace uh, uh, with uh, lots of opportunities uh, now given by our society, given by our economy to develop solutions in terms of digital trust, cybersecurity, and this has been allowed by some of the trends that we are, uh, or we are uh, facing right now. First, the acceleration of the digitalization of our economy and society, the increase of the, threat, the threats of cybercriminality, it's no more uh, a threat, it's a reality for citizens, for companies, and for public actors. There is 1,000 times more uh, cyber attacks since the COVID. Uh, this is uh, really uh, crazy, but the, it's at least also shows that there are opportunities also to develop solutions. Also, a crucial necessity to secure our IT infrastructures, our critical infrastructures in terms of energy, health, transport, financial institutions. So, a very big marketplace with lots of opportunities uh, uh, in order of uh, challenges that we are facing. And on the other side, you have here in this region a unique ecosystem. Uh, when we talk about ecosystem, what do we uh, do we uh, intend? Uh, there are usually five pillars, and let me just uh, give you, a, a, in a few words, our perception of the successful ecosystem we have here in this, in this region in the digital trust and cybersecurity. First, in, a, in academics and research, we have probably one of the biggest concentration of academic uh, and research expertise. Canton Novo, it's roughly 10% of the population that is involved either as professors, students, researchers, and it's uh, roughly 10% of the population, 70,000 uh, jobs and people involved in all sectors, of course, not only in the uh, digital trust and cybersecurity. In terms of corporates, uh, we have uh, also very important corporates in this field. Uh, they have been mentioned during all the day. I don't want to go in details. We have also a large network of experts, more than 300 experts in the field of digital trust and cybersecurity. We have successful entrepreneurs. We will see the next generation of entrepreneurs. They are uh, early stage company, more, I would say, uh, uh, developed companies, startups scale up, but we have a successful network of entrepreneurs, especially in the field of digital trust and cybersecurity. We have investors. We still need, we still lack some VCs in the region. We have a, a very active community of business angels, very thankful to them to also support our startups. But we also have institutional VC, thinks about Swisscom Ventures. Uh, they are very active in the field of uh, digital trust, cybersecurity, and it's, they are part of the, the program, part of the support of the Tech for Trust and the government. Together with Geneva, we have been supporting this initiative since the beginning. We have this unique opportunity and this is uh, just the conclusion of my introduction, is to say that this Tech for Trust program is a catalyst of all, I would say, the expertise of all the stakeholders of our ecosystem to really address the market opportunities uh, given to, um, by the, 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 dif the different trends I mentioned before. So we really have the opportunity to boost innovation, to accelerate, and to offer solution coming from our region. This is why this program is very important, as you know that um, any, I would say, acceleration program really gather all the stakeholders of an ecosystem. So now, if we just uh, look after the 
uh, this third edition. 60 applications, it's growing. 30 selected companies. We have uh, uh, increased by 50% the number of startups that will be accelerated within the next 6 to 12 months. And very interesting is also to see where these startups come from. Most, uh, most of them come from the Lemanic arc, of course. We would like to also support new startups to really get accelerated thanks to this program. So most of the startups come from Vaux and Geneva, but you also see uh, uh, that there are uh, 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 more internationalized, I would say, cover and scope of our uh, program, which is very important. The idea is also to uh, increase, I would say, the internationalization of the tech for trucks in the, in the futures. So we also would like to invite, I would say, any corporates, uh, any investors that are following our uh, event today uh, online or here to really come to us to uh, be part of this program to help us to uh, get it more internationalized. There are also a very large diversity of expertise and industries that are covered by uh, the uh, Tech Fortress uh, uh, third edition. I don't want to go in many details, but very interesting to see that it's not only focused on cybersecurity or blockchain. It's a very holistic approach, and this is also what the jury wants, is to have a startup that can bring solution, collective also innovation, collaborative innovation. And this is quite impressive to see the, I would say, the scope of the expertise that, will, uh, that is covered by this third edition. It's also interesting to see, in terms of year of incorporation, that uh, most of the startups as less than are less than three years old. This is also what we would like to offer to early stage company to really accelerate their development, to find a, a, a first, I would say, customers to have a first proof of, proof of concept, concept, thanks to the Tech Fortress program to find uh, investors and to grow rapidly and to scale up more rapidly uh, uh, thanks to the, the program. We still have to improve in terms of gender diversity. Only 10% of startups that are led by CEO, uh, female CEO, so we need to have also uh, to improve on uh, that element. So now I will just uh, show here all the 30 Selected, selected companies that will uh, uh, present uh, this afternoon. I would like really to congratulate them for having been choose and to really uh, thank them because they are creating our futures. They are uh, providing the solutions that our society and our economy will need. And that they are also creating the jobs that any economic development agencies such as the one from Vore, Geneva, are looking for. We definitely need to diversify our economy. We definitely need also to uh, promote innovation and create new jobs opportunities. And thanks to the next generation of startups that are here, it's, uh, I would say, opportunity for us to make our ecosystem grow. So thank you very much. Really, uh, I really uh, hope that you will have a very, uh, uh, I would say, nice afternoon with all this presentation. And uh, for those who are still not, uh, I would say, involved, please come to us. There is a place for anyone interested in investing time, some money sometimes, to support our initiatives. Thank you very much. And I leave the floor to my colleague, Nicola. Th thank you, Raphael, but, but please stay, stay here on the stage. I mean, we can, be, we, we can both be here. I, I think it's very, very hard, frankly speaking, to, to add much to the excellent points you've already made. Just to say that it's a, it's a pleasure and honor to team up with you to, to push this agenda, and I very much appreciate the, 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 the team spirit we are having. So thank you so much, Raphael, and thank thanks, to obviously, you. to the canton of, yeah. of Vaux. I think we, we, we have to give them an, uh, an applause because they have been trailblazing on this. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, you. Uh, again, not so much to add. Uh, I'd like 
however, to, to, to leave you with a few, a few thoughts and, and maybe two of them. The first relates to a quote by, by Albert Einstein. Uh, Albert Einstein once said, we cannot solve our, our, our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. I think that's pretty deep. We, we need to challenge the way we are thinking if we want to solve the bigger problems of our time. And the region here is really, really good at doing this. We have been doing it for more than 100 years. This is where technology has met humanity and where we really have started thinking about what this means. And in the 21st century, this, this initiative, this, this Tech for Trust initiative, this Digital Trust initiative, Trust Valley initiative, really is, is inscribed in that, in that very spirit. We will need, on the one side, to keep on the best of what already exists, of the spirit that we have in this region, but we'll have to complement it with new innovative uh, thinking. And when I mean, what I mean by innovative thinking and inno even innovative action is not necessarily just technological innovation, it's also process innovation. It's really key for us to be able to develop these startups here in the region. That requires the ecosystem to step up. Hence, once again, uh, the value of this program, Tech for Trust program, and of the uh, Trust Valley Initiative.